use green bundle cable like right here, white here, need more insulated wire. I have one green bundle cable. Do I need one or two? Redstone. I do not recall. Probably need more insulated than that. Now then, if we're up here, we have bundle cable connected here, one here, then the white comes like, that's not white, that, that should work. Mike could also come around here. Still not sure. Um, and the green needs to be over here. Wait. might cause problems. No, it shouldn't. Never mind. Okay, so this green is the output from our timer, essentially. So it may need a not gate. Or we may have to switch to using counters. So that it's not always on. I guess it shouldn't always be on. No, it should always be on. So yeah, we're going to have to replace them with counters, right or wrong? Um, if this detects something, it will toggle it. Yeah, we're going to have to replace them with counters. Okay, what does the counters take? Or could we use a NAND gate instead? Not then, or just a not gate, a torch. I guess we could do use a torch. Yeah, we'll do that. That's simpler. Just use a not gate or a torch connected to the output of this. Probably end up using a knot gate just for looks. Okay, I guess I should explain how this intended to work. First, I've got to place the timer. How do we want to place you? Aren't you going? Yeah. 
in one of these directions. So you go like that. doesn't appear to be lighting up. Why isn't it lighting up? Huh, it must just be visual. They're working. And this goes like this. Also, not showing any light. Very strange. But it's definitely working. Okay, so how this works. When these are grown, they're too high, which will mean this block break will break the top half and pull it through the item detector, which will do two things. It will flick this latch and tr trigger the bottom block breaker, which will finish the harvesting of that particular side. When both um, have grown, this end gate will trigger and it will function the same way as our timer does. When only one is grown, it won't do anything. It will just wait till they both have grown. That is the plan. Anyway, I'm thinking that we may still need to use counters here. Because with one of them off, this will be off, and a knot gate wouldn't work. Because then it would be on the whole time. Actually, I suppose it wouldn't matter if it was on the whole time. Because they should already be planted by then. Yeah, that's fine. We can just use a knot gate. Never mind. So I hope that's clear. Detects growth of this one. Detects growth of this one when they're both grown. It sends out Tells everybody to harvest all of them. I'm doing the two of them anded together because I'm more concerned about them harvesting too early than too late. I would rather have them harvest too late than too early, I suppose I should say. This is obviously a lot more complex than just a timing circuit, and the timing circuit does work. But this is more accurate. It just depends on what you want to build. And down here I have the full production model. I flipped our top one up there so that the pistons are down here. On this end. And mirrored each other. So the water is going to go here, and our circuit can connect right here. We can build the entire circuit in this room here. Now then for the parts that we haven't built in the prototype. What we neglected to do is have the seeds filtered out. Because we simply couldn't do that. We didn't have a diamond hand cell then. That is what we're going to do now. We're going to have a filter here. And it's going to come out down like, well, this over all these deployers.
and we can't dig through that because there's water above that. And it's going to split and go back over the top. And do this on both sides. It's getting dark again. It looks like that just harvested. We have our transposers down at this end. So we're also going to have an item filter right here. But well, facing the right way. Like this. Ooh, ooh. And I have to face this in the right way too. Okay. And seeds go in those. I just grab a couple seeds. Now then for the other line here, this is going to be the string, oops, this has to be higher. And we're obviously going to need cover panels to separate these two. Uh, the reason I'm building this underground is one because it looks better, and another because when I came back over here, this block was missing. An Enderman had taken it, and that pretty much broke the whole machine because it destroyed this wire so a little bit of enderman proofing make another stack of these and these connect oops straight together and go up to a chest up here or what I'm going to do I'm going to put a chest down below there And we're going to make an automatic crafting table. Which we need the other stuff over there for. First we need to make a wooden engine. So we need two wooden gears. Piston, glass, wood. Now I have to go get the Billcraft pipes that I used over here.
my cards. We're back. Build craft pipes, build craft trench, chest, and I can go ahead and put that seed over here. Now then, need to be able to get down here. So we'll just put the chest like this, then the automatic crafting table, which we forgot to build. Not good. Had a little problem with Minecraft there. I'm not quite sure how much was recorded. So I've built the automatic crafting table, got a wooden pipe and a wooden engine. And now I just need to make a lever with stick and just grab a cobblestone. Put that there. This is going to make wool out of string and come up into a chest up top here. And then we will close it all off. Above here we're going to put glass and then try to hide these pipes some way. Thinking I might use leaves over the pipes and just glass over the actual plants and see how that looks or I might use something else like wool and I also will put the timing circuit under here and get rid of this one but I'm going to do all that off camera since my computer is giving me some problems I will show you the finished project at the beginning of next episode and also I'm going to start building a automatic wheat farm next episode based somewhat off this design. So thanks for watching, rate, comment, subscribe and I'll see you next episode.